Hello again, this is Lou. I'm with Torah Institute. Some of you have already seen some of these videos, but I wanted to let you know that this is an introduction to part five of idolatry. This is a new article that you can download for free from lamblegacyfoundation.com or torahzone.net. And it's basically like one piece of paper you can print out or have a copy shop made. And these articles are loaded with information. Is that, what's that going on there? Uh-oh, it looks like the Olympics. wonder what's wrong with that. I don't know. What's, what's this symbol? Well, all these things that we have in front of us everywhere are actually the, the world economy is driven by mankind's most prominent activity. And it's uh, fertility festivals that no one is recognizing until Yahushua comes and takes it all away. And then we'll, then we'll get it. We'll go, oh, that was offensive, eh? Well, <clears throat> now these articles are just like, there's 80 of them, I think, up there. And you can download. And here's a couple more. And uh, one, of, one of the recent ones was steeple people. What, what? You mean to tell me that steeples are actually forbidden in the scriptures? Well, yeah. And there's lots of examples. That's witchcraft. And then... <clears throat> There's this one. The real name. Is his name J-E-S-U-S? Or did we get that just recently, in the less than 500 years ago? Well, you know, you can look at the translators as they and their reasoning behind it in this little article. You can download this for free. And if you find a mistake in here, let us know. Anyway, uh, thanks for putting up with this. And uh, we're going to keep this video short for you. And we hope you enjoy learning what the scriptures are really trying to tell you. Bye now. Hey. And there's a song yep. too. And uh, so, you know, I didn't, I didn't really see a big difference. So I kind of, when I found out that the, the King James was basically a Catholic uh, translation, it really, for some reason, it did not surprise me that much. Mm -hmm. And uh, but uh, you know, then when I started studying in the Hebrew, mm -hmm. it's like whoa, you know, this is what I've yeah. been missing. <laughs> oh, boy. It really opened my eyes. Then I, and then I found the name, when I heard the name, saw the name, yeah. and how it was, it was mongrelized in the yeah. King James. You know, it's like, oh, man, that yeah, just, yeah. it hurt. Oh, yeah, it's sad. But, it, it, you know, the worst thing was not just that we were deceived, but that everyone else is still so deceived that they're walking around in a stupor. They're drunk or they're, they're yeah. under, the, under the influence of like a numbing drug that they can't wake up from. You know, they're yeah. stunned, like a, they're sleeping. And you want to yeah. awaken them, but you can't. I mean, it takes Yahushua's spirit in them to prepare them. And then when you speak his words, then suddenly they go, I love that. Why do I love that? And then that's it. It gets them. Because oh, yeah. uh, when you will turn your heart away from the things that you've put down, all the stuff that you've idolized, and you say, oh, I was holding on to that stuff. But he wants you to just drop it all and just take him. Because that's all you need. He's got yeah. it all figured out for you. You don't have to know everything. You just have to know him. He's the one that knows everything. He's got the future. He's going to resurrect you. Don't worry yep. about anything, ever. Well, he's got a card in the palm of his hand. Our names are in his, uh, carved into his hands, yes. Yeah, yeah. He's written speaking them. Of, speaking yeah. of names, too, I... I've had a uh, discussion with several people over the years about, uh, there's a scripture that talks about uh, him giving us a white stone yes. with a new name. Oh. But it's not, the translations are, they're, they're just lacking so much. It, yeah. it shouldn't say new, it should say renew. Yes, it's renew. renew. It's the same name, but it's been brought to the surface again. It's renewed. It's like a new moon. Mm. It's not a new ball in the sky. It's just, yeah. you know. A phase. It's a code. It's still it, the same yeah, moon. Yeah, it's yeah. renewed. Well, that name, what they're saying, what I, what they were being taught was that name is that he's going to have a new name. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, no. His name is going to be brought forth so everyone knows. 
it's memorial. It, his name is memorialized for all generations, forever. And the little suffix that we've added to Yahusha or Yahua is Yahusha, which is the same person, same being. Mm -hmm. And we're now seeing him as our deliverer, and that's the renewed name, Yahusha. Right. It's yeah. on the back of my shirt I'm wearing. I'd have oh, to. Are you wearing one of them today? I am. I was. Uh, I'm not going out today, but when I stand in line at a, you know, a grocery or something, I'm. I hear everybody get real quiet behind me. Oh, you get the look. <laughs> They're looking at you. The name and, turn the world upside down again. Yeah, it is. And yep. there's only one name that's going to do that. And it's doing it again, you know. Yes. What about the Areopagus when Paul was, uh, we have a video on that, don't we? Yeah, we that do. That was interesting. That was interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's happening again, though. I love it, yeah. Well, yeah, Yahusha is his name, and we understand what it means, and there, there's a lot of different variations in the teachings of it, but it's five letters, 216 times written in Scripture in Hebrew, but they don't see the Hebrew, so they, they don't know what his name is in the Hebrew spelling. Mm -hmm. So, Well, they're getting, the, they're getting a version of what they're told is Hebrew, and basically it's Babylonian, Aramaic script. That's what they're uh, it's using. It's a yeah. square script. It's not the, the Paleo Hebrew, the original yeah. Hebrew script that was written, you know, yeah. where his name is the Tetragrammaton, mm -hmm. yod hey u hey You don't see that. They, they've never seen that. Yes. And that was even on the uh, the Yeshayahu scroll, the shrine of the book, right. um, that was written in the original Paleo Hebrew language, yes. where the rest of it was written in, like, the Aramaic. The Aramaic is That's a Babylonian that. script, yes. That's right, and that stood out. And uh, I remember when you brought that point up, and you showed you showed everybody. It was in fossilized customs the first time I read it years ago. Mm. It was like the fifth edition or something, oh. and uh, it was really interesting. And uh, well, but you know, it's like back to that white stone thing again, mm. being mm. <clears throat> excuse me, being a new name. Mm -hmm. And there's other people out there that think that they're going to get a new name. Uh, it's like <laughs> they're naming what? themselves. They're making up names of. That sound yeah. Hebrew. Yeah. yeah, it's like, uh, come on, you know, okay. what yeah. name is going to be written in the scroll of life? Yeah, the one that you want to respond to? Uh, yeah. The one that your parents gave you? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I wouldn't make a name up for myself. I don't have authority over myself. Well, no. I no, submitted no to his authority, that. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have authority to name my children, and that's because I'm, right. their, I'm their parent, and I... Uh, decided that one of my children would be named this and, the, and that. I used scripture names uh, as I understood mm -hmm. them. Adam was yeah. a good name, you know, and Michael, Michael. Yeah. Those are yeah. Hebrew words, and uh, I, that, I just, I don't know why, but I did name them that. I think he was moving me to do that before I even knew him. But Well, that could very well be, yeah. 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 Because he's, you know, he's definitely... Uh, been leading us even when we didn't know him. Yes, yes. Because he has a plan for each yeah, one of us. Absolutely. Yeah. Whether we know it or not, and, you know, whether or not that plan is fulfilled by us, mm -hmm. depending on how long we live, how, how long we're going to rebel, basically. <sighs> you know? Yeah. We're given so many chances. Yeah. That people don't realize that. Each day is a blessing, and and the things that we see happening in our lives. Mm -hmm. um, well, the world the world's blessing. gone mad though, you know, from the golden yeah. cup that's been yeah. the golden cup that's been held by the woman that has caused the whole world to become drunk, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the the age of reason basically is still here, but nobody knows what the reason is. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we're trying to help them get their find their purpose, and uh, fulfilling your purpose in life is the reason you were created in the first place. Mm-hmm. Well, what, and what is that purpose, Lou? To love Yahuwah and love your neighbor, and there you go. teach them, uh, immerse them in the name. The ones that don't know Him, we're drawing them yeah. closer to Him, yeah. because He's in us, appealing to them to be restored. To favor, if right. we're if we're not using 
if we're not doing that purpose. We're all, you know, part of his body. We have different functions, but we have the same purpose. We were created to manifest those in us. Yes. Yep. Yeah, he's the well, one. He, we're supposed to be his vessels for his that's use. Right. That's right. And the, the Ten Commandments, the Torah. Yes. The first four, the last six, how to love him and how to love one another. Yeah. It doesn't get much more complicated than that. And, and, it, and it seems impossible. They're teaching them that if you try to obey these, that you're going to die. <laughs> They're not going to die. You're, <laughs> you know. Yeah, or they were laid out just to show us that we couldn't keep them. How many times have you heard that? You don't have to worry because he has unconditional love. Oh. Where? Uh, yeah. He's What's unconditional. that unconditional thing? I, I don't know about uh, that. <laughs> you have a scripture on the unconditional part? <laughs> If he's not conditional, why am I giving you 10% yeah. before taxes? I don't get it. Mm -hmm. You know, Well, he wants all of us. He doesn't want part of us. Right. He wants us every day, every night, every single waking moment. It's just, it is what it is. You know, here it is. Yeah. Simple. Do it. Do it. And live. And live. Yep. Do this mm -hmm. and you will live. Well, yeah, how about uh, people that turn to the Zodiac in the newspapers and magazines or internets and they say, hey, look, and there's numerology, and then, of course, the alien stuff is right there, too. Look, alien craft are being seen. It's all part of the same deception. It's all, and, and what, what uh, sign are you and all that, that's all coming from a source that is not of him. There's no, uh, mag there's no uh, puzzle people up th in the stars. There's no. no people up there. There's no deities. We're not going to die on this planet and then go up there. No. Uh, he created well, the earth to of, be. In there's heaven. a lot of religions that are teaching that, though. It's like, uh, that's pretty sad, isn't it? Yeah. That, well, that's the, the circus doing that to them. they they got to come out from the teaching authority of the circus, you know. <laughs>